Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the last week's developments in the monster taming genre. This week, things are getting a little bit spicy with the announcement of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the release of Digimon World Next Order on PC and Switch, and even a level 5 presentation, which could potentially feature Yokai Watch and more. So, as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, yesterday, as of the time this video is going live, the Pokemon Company had their Presents, which featured Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Sleep, but more in tune with what we cover on this channel, Scarlet and Violet are of course receiving DLCs, and I think, to be quite honest, we all saw this coming. There has been a lot of pushback regarding DLC, considering the current state of the game being extremely buggy and poorly optimized, so a lot of people are feeling like on top of not properly fixing or finishing the game, they are charging people money for more content, but that's a whole can of worms, and I did talk about this in a little video I put out earlier today, which you can check out linked below. Bottom line is that there will be two DLCs, much like Sword and Shield, and by the looks of it, if you are a double pack owner, you will have to buy the DLC twice if you want access to both DLCs on Scarlet, and then again, both DLCs on Violet. Other than that, there are some new Pokemon that were showcased, and we got confirmation that more old Pokemon are being brought back, further cementing the idea that the biggest reason the Dex cut existed was to increase the urge for people to either pay for Pokemon Home or participate in DLC, but I digress. But other than that, I don't really have too many opinions just yet because we haven't really received much information so we'll definitely keep you informed. In case you didn't already know, Digimon World Next Order is now out on PC and Nintendo Switch, and I've got to say, I'm having an absolute blast playing it so far. For those that don't already know, the Switch and Steam versions are essentially a direct port from the PS4 version of the game, with a couple add-ons such as the ability to run and a beginner difficulty for newcomers to the Digimon World series. That said, I've put out a plethora of videos talking about the game, so I'm not going to spend too much time doing so here, but I will say the port price is a little bit steep in my opinion, being 60 USD. However, I will say that if you ignore the fact that it's a port, the game is actually really good. It's not some shitty half-baked game for a premium price like we see in a lot of modern games. I think if this were a brand new game, it would definitely justify it, but the fact that the PS4 version's on sale right now for $10 will leave you kind of debating whether or not you care for portability and the ability to run. Okay, so Level 5 will be hosting a presentation slash conference talking about their future endeavors that will be taking place on March 9th at 20 hundred hours JST which translates to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and will be available with English and Chinese subtitles. Now, we don't know exactly what they're going to present here. However, because Level 5 has recently made a commitment to globalizing their games once again, it's not out of the question that perhaps they might announce something related to Yokai Watch. I'm really hoping they do. I don't think it would cost them that much just to make a digital translation version of Yokai Watch 4. And like I've stated in the past, if they really did market the game, I think they could see success in the West, but obviously not to the same extent as they had when they were literally beating Pokemon in Japan. I'll likely be streaming it, but I'll keep you guys up to date closer to the event so we can sort of figure out the logistics. The Temtem developers put out a new devlog on their official website where they discuss the upcoming 1.3 update. This update will bring forth the long-awaited challenge mode, which essentially consists of Nuzlocke mode, randomization mode, which randomizes all Temtem, including quest-given ones, and they're even adding an in-game timer for speedrunning. People playing on challenge mode will be in a different server, trading will be locked, and this will all be done on a separate save file, and you're only allowed to do one challenge run at a time. Furthermore, they are adding a new area to the game which will allow you to sell your Lumas essentially for Luma Drops, a new currency that'll allow you to buy some exclusive items. There also have been rumors in the past about Umbra forms, which are like super rare shinies. So perhaps this is a precursor to that system as well. If everything goes well, the update is supposed to be launching on March 6th and I'll keep you guys up to date on when that comes out because I'll probably be streaming it. Next up, we got some quick updates for our rapid fire news segment. So first things first, Soul Hackers 2 will be added to Xbox Game Pass, which is quite nice. We got some new Power world gameplay footage this week. The Cassepi's Discord server is hosting a Q&A. I would like to perhaps make a full video about it, we're just waiting for the devs to respond. We got some new animations for Kindred Fates alongside their newsletter, a look at the home exterior for Moonstone Island, a new monster line for Super Auto Battlemon, a new Gremlin for Gremlin's Tale, a new Abami for Abomination. Here we get a little clip showcasing monster messages in Summoner's Tale. And finally, last but not least, some music for Disc Creatures World. Let's take a quick listen. And 
And there we go, guys. Another week has come to a close. Like I said earlier, I'm really enjoying Digimon World Next Order, and with regards to Pokemon's DLC, I am very skeptical, and I do think it's for a good reason. I'm also really interested in this level 5 press conference thing that they got going on, because I really want to see some yokai watch in the West. I want to dive into the franchise, and they're making it hard, okay? That being said, if you do want to stay up to date on monster taming, definitely like and subscribe for daily monster taming videos. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon link below. Special thanks to our patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, Candy Morency, and Exodus, and we'll see you next time. Peace.